All right, welcome back. We continue right here with the Allegheny Health Network Nightly Sports Call. Bob Pompiani, Gene Collier uh, with you. Mary Hostel says on Twitter, Bob, why do you only say something when they lose? Say something about what? Because if they're winning, there's not much to complain about. I guess the answer is there. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, we also have uh, Jimi Hendrix on Twitter. His third line is invisible tonight, guys. Sullivan needs to change things up. Do you think he'll make more... Uh, line shuffling Gene uh, in the next game if they should lose this one although they're coming on strong they just hit the goalpost recently I'm just glad to hear that Jimmy Hendrix is live and on Twitter <laughs> uh, but yeah Sullivan always kind of he, he does this before every game Dumoulin hit the post yeah he's, he's apt to uh, juggle the lines really at any time even within the game so sure all right line two it's Rick and McKeesport hey Rick how you doing hey good guys how you guys doing We're good. good thanks hey I want to make an observation here. It took me a couple of games, but I am observing not only does Murray have a horrible glove hand, but he does not stop the puck behind the net, and Nashville knows this. That's why they're always pinched when they shoot the puck in behind the net. He very rarely stops it. Yeah, Whereas, he doesn't do that as not nearly as well as Rene, who's always, not yeah. only is he stopping the box, he, he plays like another defenseman back there. Well, that's what Flurry does. He stops the puck. He gets it to his defenseman instead of the defenseman racing around and trying to catch it. Yeah, Flurry. the only thing, sometimes he puts some bad passes out there. He puts it and gets himself in trouble, though. Gene, uh, it's a different style of goaltending. That's all I yeah, can it's say. a good observation, but I think, you know, the Penguins have two goalies as good as they are. Murray does that too little, you're right, and Flurry does it too much. Line one we go. Joe in Beachview. Hey, Joe. Yeah, I hate to say it, but it's definitely Murray's fault right now. He's fighting the puck too much. I mean, they keep saying on TV, he just doesn't look himself. He's fighting it. He's letting rebounds go. And all he mad if he looks slower than my grandmother out there. Uh, he's not having a good night either. It was his uh, turnover early on. And Hainsey looks slow. I mean, their defense is not what you'd anticipate coming into. If you had Chris Letang, it's a huge difference back there. What he does in terms of minutes consumed, in terms of trickle-down minutes, Gene, it's, this is what we're talking about. The Penguins have somehow still gotten to this point without him, but man, yeah. you, you miss him in a series like this. No, it's very different having uh, Chris Letang play 27 minutes, Bob, and having uh, Ron Hainsey play 25. That's, that's a drop off. John and Carol, what's up, John? How you doing? Hey, uh, Bob. Yes. L listen. listen, the guys are talking about all he matter. He's, that guy is so slow. I'm 83 years old and I could beat him on his <laughs> Listen. He threw at least putt, three pucks in front of Murray tonight, and Dumoulin did the same thing. I, I feel bad for Murray. I was complaining about Murray earlier. But listen, those guys are leaving him dry. All right, sir, thank you. Let's go to line four. That's Dave in West End. Hey, Dave. Hi. Um, my question is, my feeling is, can we keep Flurry for next year no. and keep Yuri they could. Let Murray go? No, they're not going to do that. Why would you do that? He's 22. Well, 23. A, a backup. I mean, no, I mean, the way it's set up, it's Flurry's time to leave. I, I, unfortunately, I, I mean, if they want to make some, they could theoretically keep both and make some crazy circumvention kind of move, Gene. I guess, but they're not going to do that. Yeah, they could work out a deal with uh, Las Vegas. Ask them not to draft Mur take, uh, leave Mur leave Flurry unprotected. In the expansion draft, ask Las Vegas not to take him uh, in exchange for something else that would be very expensive. It's, it's not out of the question, but it's not going to happen. Interesting note today, also, we found that, um, I don't know if you saw this, Al Pacino is going to play Joe yeah, Paterno saw that in the movie. Mm -hmm. you, HBO you, film. HBO film. Right. What do you think of that choice? Excellent. I do, too. I mean, yeah. it, <laughs> who better? I don't know. Yeah. Do they have a name of that movie yet? No, no I don't, I don't think know so. the girl. Well, anyway, that that became newsworthy today uh, because his name was prominent, and uh, we'll see what happens there. But right now it's three to one. Nashville has the lead here. Three thirty one left. The Penguins hit a goalpost with Brian Dumoulin. That would have made it three two, and it made things a little interesting. But they uh, they couldn't get another one by him, and they had some pretty good opportunities. So that's the situation. We will take a break, and uh, we'll be back. Also, you should know we'll be back here again tomorrow night, same time, same place, 35 every night. Every so night. we'll uh, rehash this, look ahead to game number five, and Murray is coming out of the net here, Gene. It's an empty net with 331 to go. I like that move. Yeah, why not? 
Now you got to take a shot. Extra attackers like a power play. Hopefully they can get something. All right. We're watching the face off, but now we're going to go to a break. <laughs> we'll be right back.